static rotor resistance control method this is one of the scheme slipping induction motor speed control with a rotor circuit chopper or static rotor resistance control method understood this is the uh, circuit diagram of this uh, static rotor resistance control method uh, this is called uh, bridge rectifier okay this bridge rectifier and uh, this is called igbt chopper this is called igbt chopper this uh, rotor resistance can be controlled by using this scheme okay so in this uh, static rotor resistance control method uh, is suitable for only slipping induction motor slipping induction motor only srim is called slipping induction motor okay this slip power can be controlled by using uh, this uh, scheme static rotor resistance control scheme okay but in uh, squirrel gauge induction motor is not possible am i right squirrel gauge induction motor this slip uh, power cannot be controlled okay in uh, squirrel gauge induction motor but in a slipping induction motor is controlled that's why the static rotor resistance control method is suitable for only this machine slipping induction motor only so not suitable for squirrel gauge induction motor okay this uh, speed of wound rotor induction motor this uh, this wound rotor in the matter slipping induction motor na the speed of slipping induction motor can be varied by varying the rotor circuit resistance varying the varied by varying this uh, by using this resistance okay the speed control of uh, slipping induction motor here rotor circuit resistance is varied by varying the rotor circuit resistance the road by varying this rotor circuit resistance uh, the speed of the slipping induction motor can be controlled okay the rotor resistance can be varied st steplessly by using a diode bridge rectifier and the chopper so by using chopper and by using a diode bridge rectifier so this uh, uh, rotor circuit resistance of this uh, slipping induction motor it can be controlled understood this method of speed control is very inefficient this method of speed control is very inefficient understood the rotor resistance control method is a static rotor resistance control method is a, uh, this method of speed control is very inefficient because the slip energy is wasted in the slip energy is wasted in rotor circuit resistance so the slip energy the slip power is wasted in, in the rotor circuit resistance only okay that's why this method is inefficient is clear understood this method of speed control is very inefficient because the slip energy is wasted in rotor circuit resistance this is called rotor circuit here this slip energy is wasted okay however so some is having some advantages okay uh, advantages are high starting torques high starting torque is available at low starting current high starting torque uh, is available at low starting current and improved power factor is possible with the wide range of speed control so this is the main uh, advantage of this uh, slipping induction motor even though it is having some disadvantages it's a way it is a method is uh, inefficient okay so energy is wasted in the rotor circuit even though this, uh, this method is inefficient it is however it is having some advantages uh, that is high starting torque is available at low current low starting current i starting torque is available at low starting current and uh, improved power factor is possible with a wide range of speed control this is the main advantage of static rotor resistance control method okay so a stator of a machine is directly connected to the supply the stator of a machine uh, is directly connected to the line power supply rib the stator of the machine is directly connected to the supply of power supply and the rotor circuit uh, this is called rotor circuit uh, the rotor circuit uh, slip voltage is variable across the slip rings okay so you having slip rings uh, uh, the slip voltage is available across the slip rings am i right the slip voltage is available across the slip rings uh, the slip voltage is rectified by the slip voltage is rectified by three phase diode bridge rectifier understood so try to consider this is a slip ring induction motor stator of uh, this machine is directly connected to the line uh, power supply okay rib this is a line power supply is directly connected stator of a slip ring induction motor is directly connected to the rib okay so supply lines line power supply and uh, the rotor circuit uh, the ro this is called rotor circuit in this rotor circuit uh, so here the slip voltage is uh, available slip voltage is available across the slip rings across the slip rings uh, slip voltage is available this slip voltage is rectified by using this slip voltage is rectified by using rectified by using 
three phase diode bridge rectifier am i right by using three phase diode bridge rectifier uh, this lip voltage can be uh, can be converted like this by using three phase diode bridge rectifier the dc voltage is converted into a current source id this dc voltage uh, is can be converted into a this called vdc this output of the three phase uh, diode bridge rectifier the output voltage is called vdc no? the dc voltage is converted into a current source id so you know well how to convert a uh, current source this voltage source into current source by connecting a large value of inductor in series with the voltage source no? by connecting the large value of inductor in series uh, the large uh, voltage source uh, this this can be converted into a current source that is called constant current source. okay the dc voltage is converted into a constant current source current source that is called current is called id by connecting a large series inductor connecting a large series inductor okay it is then fed to the shunt chopper this is called igbd chopper shunt chopper it is connected in parallel it is then so this uh, the id this current is fed to the okay it is fed to the shunt chopper with the resistance r so with the resistance r is a parallel connection igbt chopper and the resistors are connected in parallel okay so here the chopper circuit may use igbt or gto or thyristor or any uh, other power semiconductor devices so not only igbt so here in this scheme i have taken a igbt chopper okay the chopper circuit may be use igbt also gto also get turn of thyristor also power transistors also thyristors also or maybe any semiconductor devices here dg chopper circuit consisting of uh, here in this ig igbt only understood so here so i'd like to constate uh, so if so if igbt is on state okay so this is the uh, waveforms of static rotor resistance control method okay so this is the waveforms of static rotor resistance control method so if the igbt is uh, on if the igbt is on state so what happen the chopper is periodically connect and disconnect the rotor resistance or okay this chopper igbt this chopper igbt chopper periodically connects and disconnects okay so this uh, connects and disconnects okay if for example if igbt chopper is turned on means uh, it is on means it acting is a short circuit no under short circuit condition there is no resistance here this zero resistance under short circuit condition it acting as a just a short circuit wire so zero resistance connected into the uh, parallel to the resistance no? so that's why this uh, resistance become zero understood if it is off if the igbt is off so what happen it acting as open circuit that means uh, this much of resistance is included into the rotor circuit of a three phase induction mode rotor side of a three phase induction this much of resistance so during off and uh, on condition igbt on condition okay the chopper is switched on if this uh, on means uh, what is the uh, resistance here zero okay it is acting a short circuit and it is a resistance zero okay and what is the under short circuit condition what is the voltage vd so zero now so what is the that's why so vdc output voltage is zero and is vd zero during igbt is turned on condition here the tn means igbt is on on means the rotor resistance uh, Uh, this is uh, igbt is connected exactly parallel to the rotor uh, resistance no? so the equivalent resistance become zero that's why during on state condition of the igbt the voltage become zero and uh, uh, resistance is also zero okay during off stage condition so if it is uh, igbt is chopper is off that means it acting as open circuit so under open circuit condition this much of resistance is in, uh, included into the rotor circuit of three phase sibling induction motor and the output voltage is called vd okay so that during uh, chopper off condition t off igbt chopper is off condition this much of resistance is a uh, place when the chopper is periodically connects and disconnects okay up to here is the chopper is a uh, uh, stunned on means this resistance is uh, disconnected that means there is, uh, there is no use of I mean uh, resistance is become zero okay and so if the chopper is disconnects means the resistance is included into the rotor circuit when the chopper is periodically connects and disconnects uh, uh, the rotor resistance or uh, when igbt is on so the resistance is short circuit when igbt is on the rotor resistance is uh, okay short circuit and the 
current uh, is passed through the in this direction only current is passing through the igbt so no current passing through the resistance so current is always choosing the low resistance path no that's why the current is uh, flowing in this direction so not in this direction okay so because of the what is the equivalent resistance here r is equal to 0 and its output voltage is uh, vdc is also is equal to vd is equal to 0 so when igbt is on okay so if the when the igbt is uh, that is called chopper igbt chopper is on the resistance is a short circuited resistance is short circuited and the current id passed through it so like this okay that is equal to vdc is equal to vd is equal to 0 and the resistance r equal to 0 the total resistance okay total resistance r is equal to 0 because of so the zero resistance connected in parallel with this resistance okay it indicated as shown in uh, like this okay next uh, when igbt chopper is off okay so what happen if the igbt chopper is off it acting as open circuit na no? under rough state condition igbt is off state condition when igbt chopper is off so what happen the resistance is connected in this circuit remember it the resistance is connected into the circuit igbt chopper off state the igbt chopper is off state means so it acting as open circuit okay and the resistance is connected in, in the circuit the resistance is connected in the, into the circuit okay and the dc link current id flows through the rotor resistance this resistance and the dc link current id is passing through the resistance okay current flowing through the dc link id is a flows through it igb uh, here okay so not current current is not flowing through the chopper so current is uh, flowing here In this direction right? to the res circuit resistance okay because of it is acting as open circuit understood and then what is the voltage vdc here so what is the voltage vdc is equal to vd when igbt is off okay and the resistance in the rotor circuit is called r it is indicated as uh, like this r okay so in this way this uh, rotor is connect uh, uh, resistance is connected into the circuit and uh, disconnected by using igbt chopper circuit okay so from this uh, if the this call external resistance r is connected uh, here so so on this uh, you can easily understand uh, this uh, from this waveform of this uh, okay from this waveform this effective resistance uh, how to calculate this uh, effective value of resistance uh, so here only this duration only the only resistance is there so in this duration there is no resistance am i right here the resistance is not included only here only resistance is included okay understood so then here so uh, effective value of resistance is nothing but r is equal to 1 by t integral 0 to d into r into dt so 1 by t is divided into total time is divided into on time and off time so 0 to t on on time 0 to t on time r into dt plus uh, integral t on to t r into dt so like this is uh, time period is divided into two okay 0 to t on and uh, t on to t during on time of the chopper r is equal to 0 resistance is equal to 0 okay in this uh, zero in this time period zero to t uh, the chopper is turned on means uh, the resistance is zero zero okay up to here if this uh, zero to t on uh, time period zero to t on this time period okay so the chopper igbt chopper is on means the resistance what is the resistance here zero okay so that's why uh, here this term is equal to zero t zero to t on is equal to zero this term 1 by t integral zero to t on r into t So in this period, the uh, IGBT chopper is switched on. That's why it's acting as a circuit. And there is no resistance included into the rotor circuit. During on time of the chopper, R is equal to zero. So that's see, that's why R is equal to effective value of resistance is nothing but so one by T integral is now T onto T R into dt. Then that is equal to R by T into so T minus T on. So apply integrations, you will get R is equal to R into so T by T minus T on by T. So then effective a uh, resistance between the terminals a and b is given by r e is equal to r into 1 minus r okay so here alpha is nothing but a duty cycle of this chopper t on by t that is equal to duty cycle of this chopper okay so t on is equal to on time of the chopper t off is called off time of the chopper t is called total time of the chopper in this way this uh, slipping induction motor speed can be controlled by including the resistance by is connecting the resistance connecting the resistance okay the speed of the induction machine uh, can be controlled 
okay